Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. Look, 2020 has proven to be the year of many things, and the same for 2022. But if you're a small business, this could also be the year you switch to a better payroll. Gusto wasn't just built for small businesses, it was built for the people behind them. Their online payroll is easy to use. Gusto can automatically calculate paychecks and file all your payroll taxes, which means you have more time to run your business. Plus, Gusto does way more than payroll. Gusto helps with time tracking, health insurance, 401ks, onboarding, commuter benefits, offer letters, access to HR experts. You get the idea. It's super easy to set up and get started. If you're moving from another provider, they can transfer all your data for you. It's no surprise that 94% of customers are likely to recommend Gusto. And here's the best part. Because you're a listener to this podcast, you get three months totally free. All you have to do is go to gusto.com backslash compliance. That's gusto.com backslash compliance. I'm telling you, you're going to love Gusto. Get started today. The Daily Compliance News for October 28, 2021, the Corruption in Los Angeles edition. And our lead story comes from the Los Angeles Times, who gives a sort of a summary of corruption in the City of Angels over the years. It's not as deep or as embedded as cities like New Orleans or Chicago or Jersey City. Nevertheless, there have been a few instances of some bitty pretty big-time corruption in uh, Los Angeles. So if you want to have a fun read about the history of corruption in Los Angeles, take a look at the article. Next up, from the Wall Street Journal, um, the Justice Department is probing Visa's relationship with certain fintech firms as a part of its antitrust investigation. Antitrust investigators are looking into the financial incentives that Visa gave Square, Stripe, and PayPal Investigators want to know if those deals kept the payment firms from using other card networks or money movement technology. The probe is a part of an existing antitrust investigation, and there's no indication that any uh, results have been reached by the DOJ in this antitrust probe. Uh, Also from the Wall Street Journal, uh, they report that the Federal Trade Commission have begun looking into disclosures that Facebook's internal research company had identified ill effects from its product. Officials uh, are looking into whether Facebook research documents indicate it might have violated a 2019 settlement agreement for which the company paid a record $5 billion penalty. The internal research has uh, brought up evidence that the company's algorithms foster discord and its Instagram app is harmful for a sizable percentage of its users, notably teenage girls. Facebook says it will cooperate with regulators, uh, really uh, not too surprising there, but we're really going to have to see if um, that cooperation continues. Regulatory concerns are about one of Facebook's problems in the face of the Facebook papers. And finally, our last story comes from the New York Times that uh, 1,100 employees of McKinsey have um, signed an open letter to the firm's top partners urging them to disclose how much carbon their clients spew into the atmosphere. Um, Several authors of the letter have resigned um, since it came out, and that really speaks to the culture of McKinsey, that uh, you can't even raise your hand and raise these concerns, perhaps. But um, it's an interesting uh, development 
in the green movement and in uh, the ESG movement that employees from consulting firms are now raising these issues. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.